Hannibal crosses the Alps. The Romans faced many enemies, but the strongest and most determined enemy they ever faced was an African general named Hannibal. Hannibal came from Carthage, a city on the coast of Africa. Carthage was home to many merchants and traders. Carthage also had an army and a navy. The Carthaginians took over much of North Africa and Spain. They even took over islands off the coast of Italy. The Romans saw Carthage as a rival. They fought three wars against Carthage. These wars are known as the Punic Wars and are thought to have been fought during the years 264 to 146 CE. Map of Roman and Carthaginian Territories Hannibal's father fought against Rome in the First Punic War, 264 to 241 BCE. He made his son swear he would carry on the fight against Rome. Hannibal swore he would and kept his promise. It was Hannibal who led the fight against Rome in the Second Punic War, 218 to 201 BCE. Hannibal gathered an army in Spain. He had tens of thousands of foot soldiers. He had thousands more who fought on horseback. Best of all, he had his special forces, a squad of elephants. Hannibal had learned that few men are brave enough to stand and fight when they see a thundering herd of elephants coming their way. Hannibal wanted to attack Rome. However, to invade Italy, he would have to march his army over a range of mountains called the Alps. The Alps were tall. The peaks were covered with snow and ice. There were no big roads that led across. There were only a few slippery paths. Hannibal gathering his army to cross over the Alps. Most men would not have tried to cross the mountains, but Hannibal was not like most men. He marched his army over the mountains. His men suffered terribly. Some died from rock slides or avalanches. Others froze to death. Many of the elephants did not make it across. In the end, though, Hannibal got his army across the mountains and into Italy. In Italy, Hannibal went on the attack. He beat the Romans at Trebia in 218 BCE. Then he wiped out an entire Roman army at the Battle of Trasimene in 217 BCE. The Romans lost 15,000 men. The Battle of Cannae was even worse. The Romans lost at least 50,000 men, including 80 of their 300 senators. Hannibal and his troops won several battles against the Romans. People thought that might be the beginning of the end for Rome. They did not see how the Romans could go on, but the Romans did go on. They raised another army and sent it out to stop Hannibal. This time, the Romans avoided big battles. Instead, they fought a lot of little battles. They attacked Hannibal's army here and there. They blocked his troops and slowed down his marches. They also launched a counterattack. A Roman general named Scipio took Roman troops to Africa. The leaders of Carthage wrote to Hannibal, they asked him to come home and protect Carthage. Hannibal did as he was told. He left Italy and returned to Carthage. At the Battle of Zama, he confronted Scipio. This time, the Romans were victorious. Hannibal won most of the battles in the Second Punic War, but he lost the war. After the Battle of Zama in 202 BCE, Carthage was never quite the same. They fought another war against Rome, the Third Punic War, 
in the years 149 to 146 BCE, but it was clear that Carthage was sinking and Rome was on the rise. Hannibal surrendered to Scipio in Zama.